Oh, here they come. They're making a charge. Are they? They're. Oh, here we go. All right, we got some. Uh, we got some carnage happening now. They're just shooting into each other. <laughs> this is great. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs, and today Mr. Random Bob is back, and he's better than ever. So today, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Now you're probably wondering, Komodo, why is there a bunker gun on top of this building? Well, that's a pretty good question. You should probably also ask, why is Random Bob in his Brick Rigs Armed Forces uniform? Well, that question's about to be answered. There is going to be an attack on Bricksville today, and it's going to be more like a challenge. Now, why I put this in the Random Bob episode is the whole fact of, I don't even know if this is going to work, so we might just go on to other creations. But, we have a very special creation here. Now, it's by, I believe I'm saying this right, it's like Neo2906, and it is a charge of troops that open fire, and it is absolutely amazing. So, let's go check it out real quick. So here they are right here. I've actually changed something about these. I normally don't modify creations, but I've added more. Now this looks a little bit laggy on this screen, but essentially what it is, it's the little walking bobs. Uh, they have a gun and they have a sensor on the gun and they'll open fire on anything that they see. And these things are actually quite devastating. You do not want to stand in front of them. Now, one more little slight modification I am going to make to these, just so it makes sense because of brick rigs, I'm going to change these to tan. But if you want to go check out the original creation, uh, I'll link it down in the description. I will not re-upload this version of it. I want you to go check out the original version. There we go, we've got a bunch of desert worms. Now, let's go ahead and spawn these. Check this out, this is cool. There they go. Look at that, it actually gives you the illusion of like a full-blown army charge. So what I'm going to do, to make this a challenge, we're going to wind up spawning them somewhere over here. I'm going to set up some bombs in the city, that way if they shoot the bombs, they'll blow up the buildings. So my objective is to try to stop the army charge from destroying the city. Alright, so the bombs are placed in the city. We're about to spawn the army, so we're going to use just one of those charges uh, to begin with, just in case it gets a little laggy. So let me go in here, uh, let's go ahead and activate this, go ahead and hit that switch. Here we are in the Brick Rigs, uh, I would say coastal defense system, but I mean there's no coast here, so this is no longer the coastal defense system, it's the city defense. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the cameras here. Okay, so it looks like we've got that. Let's go ahead and make sure the gun works. Uh, you know what, we don't care about the, uh, the hill city. We're here for Bricksville. Uh, let's go ahead and fire. Okay, looks pretty good. A little up, and that looks perfect. All right, so there is some uh, fall off on that shell. So am I gonna be able to see people? You know, if I spawn them about right there, they're gonna have some cover, actually. All right, I'm pretty excited for this. Let me go grab the charge. Okay, so here's attempt number one. That's actually a pretty good sized army. Let's go ahead and go boom. Okay, they're opening fire. Let's go ahead and get up into the gun itself. Okay, I'm not in the actual seat. I can hear them though. I hear all the little pops. They're actually charging into the city right now, huh? And let's go ahead. Oh, wait. That shot came close. Look at that. That looks amazing. Could you imagine if we had AI in brick rigs? Huh? Let's go boom. Okay, a little high. Oh, that is cool. Hmm, I'm trying to think of a way for me to be less OP during this. Maybe I should do a normal gun. Uh oh, they're moving. They are cruising. This is actually pretty hard because they're about to be behind cover. I don't think they're going to hit any bombs, though. There should be a bomb on that street over there. Uh, oh, this looks cool. Oh, this makes me want AI in the game so bad. Could you imagine if you could spawn AI armies? Uh, that would be awesome. Look at that. They're changing directions, though. Some are heading uh, more towards the factory. Others are kind of changed direction towards this area. Okay, so we proved that this works. Were they even close to hitting bombs here? Ah, uh, they're somewhat close. Oh, let's look at the damage. That looks so cool because they're actually spreading out right now. That's going to make them even harder to hit. You know, I should give myself like a 15 second delay before I can open fire. That way it gives them a chance to spread out. So, question is, can we spawn two of these? Uh, that might be a bit laggy. I'm going to go attempt to grab one more and then we'll respawn both of them. That way we have a massive army bearing down on Bricksville. 
All right, have we reached the lag point here? We might have. All right, here goes one army set. Let me go ahead and grab the other army and reset them. They're going to come in from this direction. Okay, so they're both in. Uh, I can't tell how laggy it is yet, huh? Let's hop up into here. Okay, you know, it's not terrible. Let me see when I get into the gun. Uh, maybe it won't be bad. Okay, so we're in the gun. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, look at them. Well, actually, that group's more menacing looking. They're really booking, huh? Let's start opening fire. I was going to wait like 15 seconds, but I don't think I have 15 seconds here. Uh, this army is bearing down, so let's try to get the close ones real quick, and then maybe we'll move on. Dude, there's a bunch of other things that we could do. We could probably get tanks, uh, maybe even aircrafts. We could try to make some bombing runs on the armies. What are they doing? Are they turning towards each other? Hold on, that one's really spreading out. I gotta hit some of these groups real quick. There we go. Oh, a little high. Oh, this is so awesome because the, the pieces actually give the illusion that it looks like people. I mean, if you don't really pay attention to the wheels over there. But other than that, that's awesome. All right, so the army's charging in. Oh, have they taken out any buildings yet? Is the bomb approach? Either that or they've missed all the bombs. Oh, Bricksville looks pretty good. I wonder if we uh, made a charge. Could we do two different sides and then have them face each other? Uh, that could be something. Okay, they are almost out of range of all the guns here. They're starting to get actually in the buildings. So we might have to get out on foot here. And uh, maybe we'll have to introduce these guys to the uh, old uh, rocket launcher. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and move. That sounds horrible. You could just hear the crackling of the guns. All right, let's go grab an RPG. All right, it's definitely a little bit laggy on the ground. So I think we have over about like 8,000 bricks worth of troops spawned in. So probably would have to lessen that uh, maybe by two or 3,000. Uh, what are they doing? Are they actually, I think they're destroying a house over there. Hold on, let's keep moving. See if we can take some of these out on foot. Oh, look at that. We actually have one charging towards us. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, we blew one up. I'll make sure I'm not in god mode here. So, yeah, I'm not in god mode. If I die, uh, it's not going to be pretty. Hold on, look at it. It's like they're knocking on doors trying to get into houses. Here we go. We'll take that one out. Okay, watch fire. They made it a pretty good ways in. How they didn't hit any bombs, I don't... Like, look at that. How did they miss this bomb? You can fire into this one and blow it up. Hold on, there's some more charging over here. Uh, a couple of them are actually making it pretty far into the city, huh? What about this group over here? This house over here seems to be a bit of a, a problem spot for them. We got a couple really good hits. Look at that. It looks like they're swimming. That is awesome. Man, there's a thousand different possibilities here. Well, I didn't think... Well, I thought this was going to work out a little bit better as far as them hitting bombs and destroying the city, but there might be something else we would have to try with this. Yeah, look at that. They're actually... They would have hit this bomb. Can you not gun this bomb? Hold on, let me get the, uh... Let me get the machine gun out real quick. Uh, where is that bomb? Oh, there it is, right in front of me. Hold on. So, can I machine gun one of these? I don't know if this has the same damage power as the other one. I don't know, maybe it does take several shots before it blows up. Kind of thought you would instantly be able to explode this. Hmm. So, they need something they can shoot at and actually blow up. This, uh, apparently is not a thing. Ah, it's kind of news to me. So the city attack didn't go off quite as planned. It seems like the uh, the desert worms weren't quite smart enough to make it around buildings. So question is, what if you lined up two armies face to face and had them charge at each other? Let's go ahead and try this real quick. Okay, so if I go you guys here. Okay, let's go over to this one. And we'll have this one charge in from this direction. Come on. Go! Oh, <laughs> I died! I don't think you would be able to survive this. Now, this looks pretty epic. Look at this. We have two armies about to face off. We need some more of those uh, for Mother Russia uh, charges, if anybody remembers what those were with the tanks. Uh, we need to swoop in a couple of those. Oh, here they come. They're making a charge. Are they... They're... Oh, here we go. All right, we got, some, uh, we got some carnage happening now. They're just shooting into each other. <laughs> this is great. That actually looks cool. I kind of want to see a version of this with, like, swords. And you can just have, like, two armies go at each other with swords, even though it wouldn't do any damage. But question is, who's actually winning right now? I, I can't... You know, it actually kind of looks like the Desert Worms might be winning this one. You can see the battle is raging on. Oh, that is... Yeah, there's pieces flying everywhere. 
Uh, there's definitely a lot of pieces on the ground right now from troops. Oh, this is cool. I like this. All right, we're going to let them fight for about 30 more seconds, and we'll try to figure out who won. All right, so the question is, who had the most troops actually make it out of this? I don't know. I see a lot of green standing there. Actually, I see a lot of legs kicking in the air. It's like synchronized dancing. It's a little bit odd. I would definitely say it looks like the Desert Worms might have actually won because there's a lot more of them that actually made it through the charge. Well, if you guys have any ideas for that creation, let me know. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Let's move on to the next thing. All right. So for our next creation here, we have the drill. This is by Phantom Ling. And you know what? I've seen some drill creations in Brick Ricks before, but I've never seen one that kind of actually looks like a drill. A lot of them are just like one single little spinning spike. And this one actually looks like it has 100% drilling capabilities. So I'm kind of curious. I want to run this through a couple of things. Maybe some buildings. I don't know. Maybe a, a certain character. Uh, wait, I have an idea. Maybe a certain Rob. Hold on. This is going to be great. Oh, he's so laggy. But this is going to be worth it. So we're going to try this against Rob. Here he goes. Ooh. Oh, oh, that is actually. Uh oh, you know what I forgot to do? I have a feeling the drill needs to be in God mode. You know what, Rob? I think you might have just escaped. Actually, what's he doing? Oh, look at that. He's actually trying to destroy the drill. On. Let's go and go full speed. Oh, oh. And, oh, he just lost a hand to the drill. And he's falling down. That did not work the way I wanted it to work. Hold on. We can at least watch him hit the ground. And hit him in slow-mo. You know, that's probably the most unscathed I've ever seen Rob. I mean, he looks great. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put that in God mode like I was supposed to. All right, here we go. Now it's in God mode. Oops. Uh, we might have just clipped him. You know, this is probably not the best thing to do with the drill. Oh, let's just take his legs out real quick. We'll let him fall down, and then we'll uh, we'll finish him off here. Hold on, let that continue. Okay, there goes a Rob leg. Uh, this isn't quite your uh, your really fast explosion like what we normally do with Rob. Uh, this is a little more slow and brutal. All right, Rob, it's time to uh, go away here. Ooh! Oh, wait, what? Uh, oh, oh, I think he just hit his head. <sighs> Yeah, okay, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't use this against, uh, oh, that looks wrong. You know, maybe we should put Rob away. It wouldn't have been a random Bob episode if we wouldn't have tried something out on Rob. Uh, maybe we should have tried something else. Let's go grab an actual building. I'm curious about this thing. All right, so we're going to use this against a creation I haven't seen in a long time. We're going to use this against the Bank of Pepe. So let's go ahead and slow that down. Let's go ahead and activate that thruster. Look how awesome that looks. All right. I forgot, is anybody actually in the bank? Wait, this would be like the perfect heist tool. Could you imagine drilling into the safe? Oh, let's see how well this thing works. I have a feeling this is actually going to be pretty cool. Uh-oh, we're going through the front door here. Oh, let's go out of slow-mo. Let's let it work at full speed. Wow. Okay. Bank of Pepe, pretty impressive. Maybe we should approach the side. Okay, we're going to let it approach uh, one of the flat areas. So I think the drill... Or actually, the, uh, the safe is right here, so let's go ahead and start to drill in. Oh, wait, look at that. It's got like a little bit of a spring there, so come on. Come on. Man, this bank is a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. Come on. Oh, if I could just get one piece in, I'd be happy. Hmm, this is going to take a little bit of force. All right, I think I might have found a place to enter. Hold on. What does this look like from the inside? Let's go inside. Oh, yeah, no, that's perfectly fine. You know, just uh, your... <laughs> Your big drill that's about to come flying through this. If I'm not mistaken, is this before scalables? That's probably not a scalable brick there. Uh, oh, look at that. Dude, we seriously just broke through. Oh, heck yeah. Uh, wait, where is it going? Where is it? What are, what are you doing? Uh, wait, okay. Apparently the drill just noped out of here. Nope, nope. We're, we're going back. We haven't finished the job. There we go. We're starting to grind away at it right now. We're not going to let the drill run away this time. We need to make a hole through the bank. Actually, we're climbing the bank. On uh, ceasefire, going back out a little bit. 
This would have been good for a heist, though. You know, maybe we should do a heist movie again one day. Uh, we could probably use this to actually drill into the vault. Uh, this is pretty awesome. Uh, it's not... It's really weird. It seems like a lot of the pieces are just going through each other. So it's not quite getting that full effect, but... Actually, I think we're pushing the bank now. Yep, it is confirmed. The bank is now moving. Okay, you know what? Uh, this is a cool drill, and I do think it works pretty good. Especially for cracking it open. I don't think we're getting through the whole thing, though. I think we need something a little bit more powerful. We're gonna go with the World Disintegrator. This is by Neo Slime Gaming YouTube. Uh, go check out his channel if that's actually his YouTube channel, which I think it is. Uh, click one and everything goes boom. Oh no. How is that 2,000 bricks? This is gonna crash the game. All right, let's go with the over and under on, oh no, 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 that's not good. Let's go ahead and go God mode on that. All right, let's get an over and under. Do you think this is gonna crash the game? Go ahead and submit your answers now. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a yes. Will this even fit in the bank? Okay, this is not gonna fit in the bank, so we'll set it on the bank. Okay, set it up here. Okay, so all we have to do is, I feel like I should do this in slow-mo. Oh, that's a heavy ball. Oh, we're crashing down through the bank. Oh, this is good. This is gonna get it inside of the bank. Uh, this is about to be really bad, though. Alright, let's go. Three, two, one. Uh-oh. 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 I don't- I don't know what's happening right now. It- Wait, what? Holy man. Wait, is that not- I think that's actually machine guns. Hold on. Sit that again? Oh, are those cannon rounds or machine gun rounds? I don't know. Whatever it is, it just blew a hole through the top of the bank and it looks amazing. Uh, probably destroyed a lot of the money, too, in the vault. Oh, let's get this out and set it over to the side. What is this? Is this machine gun rounds? Oh, no, that's definitely cannon rounds. Oh, that thing is... Oops. Uh, wait. Could you set this in the middle of the city and, like, destroy everything? I mean, that's supposedly what its name's called. On. Well, we got a new challenge here, folks. We're gonna drop this in the middle of the city. All right, let's go... Oh, no. That's pretty good. I don't think it covers everything. Come on. Okay, it's full speed there. Uh, keep going. I guess we'll hold it down. There we go. Keep firing all the way down. Yeah, I feel like it's almost to the point where it's not registering half of the, uh, half the cannon rounds here. Let's set it right here and do it. So if I were to go... Oh! See? Okay, never mind. That just leveled a whole block. Yeah, I almost feel like BrickRigs is not registering that many... Oh, and Bob's dead. Congratulations, Bob. Okay, well, at least we took the bank out. So, our final creation. Now, this one is just something to marvel at. This is GLaDOS from Portal. This is made by... We'll call him Wall3. It also looks like the, uh, the layer was made by Rocket Shotgun. And this looks pretty cool. Like, I think it's just the uh, whole replica of the robot, and I believe you can actually uh, make it move around. Dude, that is awesome. Look at that. That is crazy looking. That looks just like the robot. Oh, man. So, yeah, this is just, uh, it looks like a little project that they put together. Very, very impressive. I always like to try to feature some creations like this. It's like not necessarily something I'm gonna sit there and destroy. I just really want to look at it. Nope, that's the uh, that's the camera out the eye there. Hold on, let's go back. Look at that. You got WASD. You can control its head movements. Uh, it's a little, little awkward. There we go with the camera. Uh, yeah, you completely control this thing. It's uh, WASD. Uh, mouse looks like it moves the uh, the front. Uh, I'm going to read a little bit more about this, see what else I might be missing. The whole platform rotates, which is pretty impressive. Jeez, how does this thing actually work? Like, how was this put together? Alright, so here's the uh, the sphere that it's in. And then you got, like, the big dome piece on the outside. Alright, oh, those are the little robots. Oh, I gotta, I'm going to read a little bit more about this real quick. You know, I really feel like you're just supposed to actually uh, work with the robot. I'm seeing this on the side, but... I think those are just for aesthetics. I'm not really sure those actually do anything. Uh, so if we go back into here, yeah, it's all uh, really the robot. Huh? I want to look up at this. That is uh, impressive. I wonder what the scaling is. I wonder if that is... Uh, that would probably be like a one-to-one -one scale, I would say. If I remember right. It's been a long time since I played Portal, but that that actually looks pretty incredible. Poor little Bob down there. He's just up there uh, looking at it in awe. Wow. 
But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Random Bob. It was a Random Bob episode after all. Uh, I wasn't sure how long we were going to focus on the, uh, the whole charge uh, attack army thing at the beginning. Uh, but yeah, I'm still curious as to what you guys uh, might think about that and what we could use with it. But yeah, uh, do go check out the Workshop Creations. Uh, a lot of amazing creators here in Brick Rig. Some cool stuff. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for the episode. And we will see you guys next time.